right, here we go. One. Oh, hold on. I'm going to record two. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. One, two, three. <laughs> Happy New Year, bitch. <laughs> I was so ready to say Happy New Year. <laughs> I forgot to clap. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. It was the way you saw the cheese. He said, fuck it. <laughs> God. Done. And like you saw her register too. Like she's like, oh shit. <laughs> it is only oh. fitting that we end the year with that because that's how it would be all the time. That's and funny. you're welcome. <laughs> Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Here's what's brewing today. 2021 recap. Our favorite Ask Yo Aunties. And Yo Aunties, thank you all. So get your cups ready for the final Minority Report of the year. Hey, hey. Welcome to Minority Report. It's Auntie Carell. It's Auntie Duan here. And Auntie Jarrell. Hey, and Happy New Year. It's coming up to the yes. New Year now, huh? Yes. <laughs> she peeking right around the corner. She's right like, right around mm, the I'm corner. I'm coming here. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We don't made it through another crazy ass COVID year. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, Jesus. But you know, this is like my favorite week of the year because ain't nobody working. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody doing shit. And this right. year, like we got that extra, like kind of like day, because New Year's Day falls on like the first of Saturday, and then so they give you like that extra holiday on the third, so you don't gotta go mm -hmm. back to like the fourth. <laughs> Honey, this, it's lit this year. I was trying yes. to go on vacay, but Corey started a new job, so he ain't got no vacay days to use up. <laughs> Just ruin it all up. And this shit don't happen for like another like seven years. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Messing it all the way up. Damn. But how how y'all two doing today? It's almost my birthday, so I'm doing good. You good. I know. She goes, <laughs> she, it, it could be it could be like February 3rd and she's still gonna say it's almost my birthday. <laughs> right. She's like, what, eleven months? <laughs> the right before energy. <laughs> Like, okay, girl. Mm -hmm. It's probably the funny thing is, I don't even do nothing for my birthday. That's the funny thing is, like, <laughs> I don't even celebrate my birthday. I don't throw a party. I don't do anything. I don't Why buy not? myself anything. I don't know. Huh. I think it's because, like, I, because my love language is gift giving. So I just give it out and then I just don't do anything for myself. I just sit my ass down. Well, it could be I the, do the exact opposite of what I do. That's what it, I do. It I could be the one time of year that you I give, mean, that you give it to Fizz then. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, <laughs> that man. Anytime I put, anytime I touch his booty button, that bitch fall out. He'd be like, fall oh, out. shit! <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> so never mind. I guess you can't give that gift in. <laughs> not the booty. Not the booty button. <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, what were you about to say, Dewan? Oh, I was just going to say she be getting gifts all throughout the year <laughs> from <Hey>, Fizz. <laughs> that, that's true. That is true. We Not this that. time because he's in Europe right now. So, oh, yeah, you're right. you know, when this episode out, he'll be in Europe. The, the gift that keep on giving. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the Durst, the, the Energizer Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. So, I mean, it's the, it's the end of 2021. I don't know where this year went. Again, similar to 2020, like the last two years have just been like a blur of a moment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, anything like, what are you feeling? Like, are you happy? And sorry, they doing something outside again in this episode. <laughs> they just ruining every time I try to record. They doing some shit in the background. Like, but, why uh, can't they do that shit on a, like a on, a on like a Monday or two? Literally, I mean, let's Monday, be honest. On the weekend, let's be on, honest. Bro. Don't act like they ain't doing the most in Atlanta. Oh, they always do the most in Atlanta. So this, <laughs> it's right on par. You're right. Right. 
But uh, is there anything that you've learned, like you look back at the beginning of this year to now that you're like, ooh, I was going through it at the beginning of the year and now I've kind of come through or damn, I ain't learned my lesson yet. Anything like that? <laughs> I learned, I know um, I took um, a considerable amount of time off in um in august around my birthday and mm -hmm. that was outside of just the you know the fun that it was that it was i really just learned the fact that i had normalized so much stress and so much just like there was so much just weighted on me that i didn't even know i was carrying until i actually got a chance to really decompress and like like separate myself from not only just like work and life or whatever, but just get out of the damn country for a while. Like, yeah, it's, it's yeah. one thing to go away for like, you know, like a little weekend getaway here and there, you know, like spend three or four days or whatever. But that in my mind is just not enough to like, Ooh, we just got all, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm saying the whole word. <laughs> Mother nature. So I'm saying, yes, ma'am. I agree. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, everything yeah, going on right now i mean come That's on that, now i mean that thunder snow <laughs> right <laughs> but in all honesty like getting away and really separating from whatever was normal life and having the opportunity to just completely decompress and, and separate from that just taught me how much i had normalized all the stress that this year had put on me yeah. And it's just not, not healthy at all. It's not. And, you know, it's not to say that I can do that every single year, you know, or whatever, but, you know, taking time out for oneself to really separate yourself from those things. It's just, it's, it's, at least for me, it's mission critical. I have to continue yeah. to do that in some yeah. way, shape or form. And I hope I'm hoping even just like corporate America learns that lesson. It's just like, if any year, yeah, 2020, we didn't really know at the time, but if anything 2021 is taught is we don't need to be in the office five days of no week. So mm -hmm. give me the flexibility to enjoy life a little more. Even mm -hmm. if you got to work remote, at least you're not having to be tied down to a city, to your house, whatever it may be. You can work remote, hopefully, if you have the funds and things like that, to, to work remote anywhere, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I'm hoping that lesson continues in 2022 and beyond. I hope it doesn't slowly start to be like, well, you know, that was during COVID years, you know. And, you know, yeah. they'll make up some justification that they need to, to because they got to pay for all these expensive ass buildings. Right. But it's just like, I, I hope that's one that, just as as an employee, and I know Jawan's in HR, like bitch, shut up. <laughs> but uh, mm. but uh, you know, mm. but that I, I I just hope that as an employee of companies, that we still realize we actually have a lot of power, and we're utilizing it now. And I hope we continue to utilize it to get what's favorable for us, which will ultimately make companies successful because we're happy. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, there's a lot of pressure. I was reading an article, um, a research that was that was done that says that right now um more than 50 percent of the um candidate population are millennials yeah. and and by 2023 that will rise to 75 percent you know so as the baby boomers are retiring and figuring yep. what they want to do with you know to enjoy their lives and live lavishly you yeah. know there's a whole workforce and so and we're i know a lot of people are feeling like we're in a great migration right now Absolutely. we're a lot what 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 you know, what we're calling the great migration. And that's basically now that we're kind of like on this side of the pandemic, if you will, you know, people are starting to evaluate, you know, like, is my nine to five really the, the nine to five that I really want to be doing? That you know, do I want to go out on my own? Do I want to find something different? I didn't want to do make any, I didn't want to, you know, like, you know, like make any waves while we're going in the midst of pandemic. But now that we're kind of like easing up, I can, I can jump ship and, you know, find something that's better, that pays more, that's giving me yeah. balance of life. All that to say that those, those candidates, millennial candidates, and a lot of us who aren't millennials yeah. are valuing our personal time and the flexibility to, to do, to just do the work, but also, you know, to like have, you know, our own free time a lot yeah. more, which yeah. is going to, which is putting pressure on these businesses. So regardless of whether they have buildings and they have <laughs> rent that they have to pay and, yeah. and whatever, 
if you can't bring, if you can't hire people because people aren't willing to work with you because they, they ask, okay, so what's the expectation for being in the office? You say nine to five every five days a week. You're like, mm-hmm. oh, bye. Now, <laughs> now when I got, now when I got three other offers on the table, mm-hmm. period, mm-hmm. period. So, so yeah, yeah. I, I just hope overall that's a lesson folks have learned. Uh, what have you learned, Jerome? And I'm trying to think what I've learned this year. Um, I don't know. I was, I was thinking as y'all were talking there. Um, I think for me, I have like I've grown in the sense of like wanting to figure out what's next in my life. You know, mm-hmm. like I feel like I've been like I I've grown, and with this growth, I should be applying it to my everyday life. And um, so yeah, I'll really figure out what's next. I know for me, you know, working for a large company um you know in my 40s is not gonna be where i want so i'm trying to figure out what do i need to do to learn now so that way i'm 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 where i want to be you know and whether and i I, honestly i want to own my own business by 40 you know so i'm figuring out ways to you know make those dreams a reality um and i'm using like the things that i've learned the tools that i've learned and just the what I learned last year, thanks to Auntie Dewan, you know, investing in myself, you know, I'm taking all these things and I'm I'm ready to apply them next year. So next year is going to be figuring out my next steps and um, executing them. You know, no longer just dreaming, but also acting and living out these dreams. Yeah. So, yeah. I have to say I'm proud of you, Jarrell, because Absolutely. we had this conversation last year. Yep. Um, not like you know, like oh, you got to do this, but it was just, yeah. you know, this moment, like you were having this moment of like self-reflection and, you know, and we talked about this notion about betting on yourself. And, you know, I know that you're saying you want to do more of that next year, but like, mm-hmm. I just wanted to just acknowledge the fact that you've done it this year oh, like, you. in so yeah. many ways, <laughs> like in so I many agree. ways with like your personal life, with your relationship, with your career, you know, with your mental health, with your emotional well-being, and all those things. And, you know, for the, 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 you know, the, the community who's listening, y'all know, I mean, y'all hear our lives unfolding every single week, but I just wanted to say, I am so proud of the way that you've invested in yourself because you're just, you're just killing it. And you're just a better version of, you know, of Jarrell, you know, now than what you were last year. So kudos. Honestly, thank you. Uh, Thank you so much. Cause honestly, until you said that, I feel like I hadn't really come, like, I don't take time to like, acknowledge the things that I, I have done if that makes sense mm-hmm. um I'm not, like I have this my therapist taught me um taught me this but toxic positivity I have a tendency to do that mm-hmm. where I end up being so positive that I you know I'm always moving the needle I'm moving the finish line because I'm mm-hmm. like oh that was great but you can also do this and it's like I'm always encouraging myself to be better that I never actually accept that I've I've already accomplished something yeah. if that makes sense yeah um so thanks for saying that because it reminded me that like I mean honestly like I have a therapist you know I've been taking them here my mental health like yes I'm on antidepressants but I feel a lot more better in my brain and yeah I've been going to the doctors and you know doing regular checkups and stuff like that so yeah I, thank you I didn't realize I betted on myself that's something that I've learned this year you know Absolutely. that I actually really have bet on myself because even and like, did if, and, and did not right, just and learned. did and yeah. did it's yeah. like if, even if you look at some of those episodes a year ago, just the conversations like the ones that we were having, and then like I'm trying try to say something, but not trying to reveal too But just look at like the location and everything too, you know? Yeah. Like you done the work, boo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you done look, the work. Let's be clear. Let's be clear. Like. This year was tough on all, on everybody, Period. on everybody, you know, but mm-hmm. it's just those, I think we just have to take the moment to just acknowledge, you know, when you see something and say something, yeah. I saw something, boo. Thanks, Absolutely. baby. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, what about you, I feel like Corell over here about to boo. Oh. <laughs> see? Uh, see? Not doing Capricorn season. Right. No, right? ma'am. Is that enough. maybe an eighth feeling coming on? Oh, shit. Right. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> What did I learn this year? You know, I learned again that I'm stronger than I, I, I give myself credit. I could do a lot more than I give myself credit. Like it's just it was just another year of just a lot of personal stuff that like in as much as we share on this podcast, there's even stuff that like 
I choose not to share. <laughs> that's surprisingly so. That like that has just been hard, but still being able to just find joy. You know, sometimes there's just stuff that gets you down, that beats you up, that whatever it may be, but still being able to find that joy and still to keep on pushing and and, and having dreams and accomplishing dreams and, and this yeah. and that. So that's what 2021 is just like. Life's gonna beat you up, but bitch, guess what? You're a badass bitch. Exactly. And and it doesn't mean like life isn't gonna continue to be hard. It doesn't mean it's not gonna continue to throw shit your way, but how you uh, uh deal with it and approach it and just, just your mind frame on it, take it and see what you can do to be successful with it and keep it pushing. Mm-hmm. And and I mean, yes, still take your time where you might have to boohoo, you might have to have a little woe is me moment. But okay, what did you learn out of it? What can you apply going forward? And, and let's keep this shit pushing. And, and I would say just a lot of things, just like dream wise, have come a little more clear for me of what I want to do going forward. Um, professional life is going well. So it's just like a lot of things are aligning mm-hmm. just due to the work that you put in, if that makes sense. Yeah. And um, so yeah, I'm excited for 2022. Just to see just the podcast where it goes. Like, I mean, literally 2021. Like it's like I do data during my day job. <laughs> and so just to even just look at the data and be like, damn, like see where we started at the beginning of this year to see where we're at, just to see the growth of that. And and a lot of times you want success like it's instantaneously. <laughs> yeah. But it, it doesn't work that way. You have to put the work in and it's cool yeah. to see the work paying off. Like obviously we got like merch now and shit like that. Like <laughs> it's just like cool stuff and just like some of the guests we had on the podcast, just now solely talking about the podcast. I mean like we started the year with like Monique and then we got like Jasmine and Jasmine. then we just had so many just cool people on the podcast this year. Yeah. <coughs> Went down the bomb pipe there. That's why I'm good for drinking truly. I never drink on the podcast and the time I do, I get choked up. <coughs> but yeah, like it's just, it's just stuff like that. It's just cool <coughs> to see the growth podcast wise, personal life professional life despite some of the obstacles in the way so yeah it was cool. and it's like crazy to think about like three years ago this time that's like when we really started to get the ball rolling yeah. on the idea and literally next year in 2022 we're going to turn three three right yeah. like we're going to be a damn. toddler I, I was just about to say <laughs> that we're coming out of terrible twos okay right? <laughs> like oh, wow. it's crazy to think that that like time has really gone it's by. fine yeah. yeah yeah and honestly like in a weird way think the, the COVID was tough but i don't know if we didn't go through COVID, if it would have allowed us to have as much time to do the podcast quite frankly because it would have been like the old status quo literally <clears throat> like i know dewan and i all three of us like jarell's always worked from home but it's forced us to work from home way more than we would have ever, which allowed us to kind of be a little more flexible and thing and figuring shit out. Like, it's just interesting to just see how things align even through fucking obstacles and tough yeah. times, you know. And so, in the community, thank you because that's all to y'all. Y'all be listening hey, to Max. our bullshit. Hey, Max. <laughs> Max. Y'all be listening to our bullshit. And us up. And right? gassing us up. <laughs> right. Right. It's like shit. <laughs> So, so yeah, no, it, it, 2021 was interesting. It flew by though. Cause I mm-hmm. uh, like, as much as I don't remember episodes, I l- listening back in like this episode, we're going to share some of our favorite a- ask your auntie's moments, but just listen back. I'm like, oh shit, that was like a year ago. Oh shit. That was 30 episodes. Like it's bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> so bizarre. Um, what else? Like any top music moments of the year for you? Any movies that you're like, oh, this was a dope moment this year or anything like that. I don't know why I'm drawing a blank outside of the fact that Insecure is probably wrapping up. Yeah, you know, just finished. Yeah, just finished yeah. yesterday. You know. Yeah. Um, and and community, right. just to be transparent, we're off next week. We have a best of episode. We got some, <laughs> but listen to it because we got some moments in it. We got some new oh. moments in it. Mm-hmm. And more yeah. moments than we thought we were going to actually add to it. So listen to <laughs> next week. We got a best of episode. And it's funny just to recap. But after we get back after that episode, we go and dissect and secure the we, finale. So all the way we, you got two bro. weeks. That's it. Literally. That's so it. you better catch up. <laughs> you got yeah. we just said how nobody working this week. You better catch up on insecure. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but um yeah. 
But yeah, but I I'm think, think like best moments of the year for me, just outside of like music and like entertainment, um, you know, one just at the very beginning of the year, you know, the inauguration was just a, a massive turning point. You know, <clears throat> I know I talk about boohooing, you know, I yeah. remember I look, I boohooed on the rooftop <laughs> when, when, when it was finally announced, you know, who the winner was and whatnot. And that was confirmed. And um, I just think that was just a, such a, you know, such a turning point for us in this country. Yeah. Um, and, you know, Kamala Harris, you know, the first female and black vice president, you know, yeah. in our history. So, yeah. you know, I think that's that was just like a, a huge moment. And 45 got canceled like that. Uh -uh. I'm, I'm, I'm down for that. Not only <laughs> ain't is he the only that's the thing he ain't he, he, canceled because they are already talking about he's going to be the uh, presidential nominee for the Republican Party. Well, I'm getting uh, well, I, let's let's say for the time being. <laughs> let's say in 2021 because he's the only president in the U.S. history that I got impeached twice. There so we go. that happened this year. Yep. He got banned from Twitter and social. So that, so that's a form did, of cancellation. And he lost the damn election. So Oof. I'm just going to I'm going to celebrate that. Whatever happens. <laughs> three days from now right three days from now but for right now at this point i'm yeah. like okay you know what that shenanigans is done and over with and i'm happy about it you're right because it's also it should show the power and it should show the power of our voice like because if I, the sad thing is like we start the year with such a high especially here in georgia like we we saved the country right. hey right but then now fast forward to just like the mayor race we just had and literally for a city of this size, I think it was less than a hundred thousand people voting for the mayor race. You're just like, yeah, I'm in a city I'll this swear. black. Yeah. So it's just like, no, 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 no. I know it gets tiring to be like engaged in this. And like, even at the beginning of the year, you listen to some of the episodes, we're like, you know what? We checked out of politics for a moment because it just was so all encompassing. Yeah. But yeah. leading into 2022, we had the midterms coming up. We had the governor yeah, races in a lot of states. We cannot sit down. We can't be quiet. Like we just showed our power. Let's show some more power yeah. and do the shit we need. And yes, I get that a lot of people are like, well, Biden and Kamala aren't doing what we thought they was going to do. Nobody's doing what we thought they was going to do. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the Republicans are doing what we thought they were going to do. Well, that's yeah, the, that's yeah. the reality that they do. That's a true it's statement. Just, it's just hard. I mean, like, think the about most. it. It's almost, it'll almost be a year ago since they stormed the Capitol. It'll yeah. almost be a year ago since they yeah. stormed the Capitol. And we don't have damn near enough people from that damn day arrested. And a lot of them jail. got elected. A lot of people exactly. at that day are now elected into office. That's so, a fucked up scary thing. So I yeah. understand why people are just like, well, why the fuck does it matter? Because we're playing fair, we're doing our job, but they're still getting away with all this scandalous shit. <clears throat> It's exhausting. It's it exhausting. is exhausting. So I'm ready. But we gotta I'm do just, the work. We gotta I'm ready to start choosing violence. That's my work. <laughs> I am choosing <laughs> violence. That you can do and. You, know, you can choose violence and still vote out I there, y'all. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm gonna meet them at face value. That's where there I'm ready. Go. That's where I'm ready. That's where I'm hey. at. Uh, listen, and we do. and we got at least one win. You know, Derek Chauvin yeah. uh, was sentenced 22 years. He was You're sentenced, right. down, found guilty on all three counts with the death of George Floyd. Yeah. Sentenced to 22.5 mm, years. That's so definitely like, a highlight. You know, that's like that. That's highlight. like right, that's a highlight of the year. <laughs> I remember bawling. I remember crying and being yeah. like, "Same way." What he actually like, got convicted? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was mm. yeah. You're right. That was a big. I day. cried. Yeah, I cried. I sure. will never forget the day when uh, Biden won, though. Like, Atlanta was so fucking lit. Like, I need to pull up those videos again. Like, I drove to Midtown, and there were just a sheer amount of people in the streets celebrating. Cars honking. Everybody's like, you're about to lose your job. Like, I have never seen anything like that in my life. And I don't know if we honestly ever will. Um, the sheer amount of joy for someone losing <laughs> it, it was everything so i'll never forget that to the day i die and i'm glad i filmed a lot of it i'm glad i went into that chaos because like it was during COVID. that was still before the, the the shots got out there really or the shots were just starting to roll out i think so that was definitely a highlight for me um wait all right, wait, wait, wait 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 hold on uh -huh. he got he are you talking about the inauguration no when if, when the count finally got done the count yeah and they said Biden won Georgia. Was, I think Georgia yeah, was like one That was twenty twenty yeah. though. We know that that was no. twenty twenty. Nope, it was in January. No, he got it. Oh, that was in twenty twenty. Girl, the inauguration no. was in January. I swear, <laughs> no. the inauguration was in January, girl. 
Oh damn, that was the end of the year. Oh, I'm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because y'all, because y'all did our second capital. boat. Remember, y'all oh, did our second boat in January. We had to run off in January. Yeah, y'all had to run off in January. Right, right. Yep, you're yeah. right. Damn. Yeah. Well, shit, it spilled over to 2021 too. Then, damn it. Damn. But see, I was sitting here like, tell me something. Uh, well, they just on. show you how crazy this year has been for politics in Georgia because all that shit run together. But yeah, it was a runoff in January. That's yeah. what it was. You were right. But hey, we got them two dudes in there. We got hey. Awesome and uh, what's the black man from the church? Uh, Raphael uh, Warnock and got him in. Yeah. So yeah, so even though, I mean, it's still hard to get what you need to get done even with the 50-50 split. But hey, again, it shows the power of our fucking vote. 100 what else i'm trying to think what else? i'm trying to think of music and movies because i know last year we were talking about watchmen hotels hotels still oh, hotels did through the, year, through the year look and that was almost a year ago now it dropped like the first week of january the first week of january yeah. she yeah. blessed me for my birthday and honey yeah. and oh, she's still singing yeah. the shit out that album man she just said she just sang girl like me a little honey. while ago and i was like I was like, I cannot with you, Jasmine. She, she ran that shit down. I said, okay. I was like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. Like, I'm about to throw okay. everything. I'm going to throw a boot at your face Love. and your throat because you should not be singing like that. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, I'm Silk Sonic album dope. Silk Sonic album dope. I still ain't listen to it. It's dope. It's good. It's dope. It's feels, good. It feels good. It okay. feels real good. Adele album dope. Yeah, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> Adele Elvin, <Alvador. laughs> oh, uh, what else? Uh, Lil Nas X had a dope ass year. Oh, his album. Lil Nas X had an amazing year. Yeah, yeah. I would Nas say that's X definitely a highlight too, especially for you know us as queer black men too. Yeah. Like that, absolutely. That amount of representation. Yeah, across know, the been, board. His videos, yeah, yeah. his Bang award right, shows, yeah. SNL. Like he that did kiss at BT, you know. Like remember he, he split just... his pants early in the year too. Yeah, I mean, honey, nah, like, and now he trolling us on Maury. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm like, nah, you better do the damn thing. He's doing shit outside the box, shit we haven't yeah. really seen people Which do, and great. that's dope. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else. I don't think I've watched too many TV shows this year. I'm trying to remember. I didn't See, finish I mean, uh, that Love like... Country show. I need. I still need to finish that. Yeah. Insecure. What else did we watch? I feel like there was another show we actually did watch at some point uh, that we binged. Oh, I mean, Squid Game, obviously. Tiger was Tiger mm-hmm. King this year. No, <laughs> I don't know. that was that was last that year. Was, I don't think oh, Tiger King last Two year. was this year. Okay, yeah, Tiger King Two was this year. Yeah, see, that's yeah. that COVID mind. Matrix All this shit blurring. In December. <gasps> Ooh, we have exactly. So when we record this, sorry, the little veil. We haven't seen the Matrix yet, so that literally just came out like two days ago. <laughs> so we haven't we'll, uh, seen we'll this yet. We'll have a whole conversation about that, you know, Jarrell. You can um, you can start landing. You be ready to fill in, girl. Because <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Landon probably gonna get his entire life too. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's just yeah. ugh, it's been a blur of the year. I don't know. <laughs> this, is the, this is the year that from a tv standpoint this is the year that we actually started seeing shows coming back you know yeah, so like yeah. insecure with their final season um they're white people you know, with their final right so like there a lot of shows that were, were recording in the midst yeah. of the pandemic and doing all those things like socially distance and da 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 da, da while it, before vaccines became available and whatnot now we're starting to see the fruits of those labor so yeah. um so that's yeah. really good um, so yeah, I don't know. But uh, another thing that I enjoyed was all the Ask You Aunties questions that y'all sent in this year. Yeah. We appreciate all that. Of them. And, and mm-hmm. we had like the wide range of gambits. A lot of times y'all like the little like the relationship shit. So, you know, we got a lot of those, but we got a lot, of, I mean, random topics that like were cool, like touch like hair types and and professional settings and, and yeah. things like that. Yeah. So um so the back half of this episode, we're gonna like provide you some of our favorite ask your aunties mm-hmm. moments we're going to give it a little you know color commentary so the, the the one that i picked was uh the don't touch my hair and that was with our our sisters our, our friends from it's a messes podcast yes. um and it was just cool because <laughs> so they kind of had that jarrell spirit they said they said if they t- see i don't think nobody just got slapped 
<laughs> Nobody just told him no and it slapped him. I'm like, I know that's right. Come on, Rena and Jeff. Uh, you know, but um, but yeah, it, it was dope to have them on, and and uh, we'll we'll play a little clip of uh, the Ashiantes. Don't touch, don't touch my hair. <laughs> So I, I think it's about that time. So what time is it? Ask, Ask your, your uh, <laughs> oh, I can't this wait. One, this one's a juicy one. We've held mm -hmm. on to this one for a long ass one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's time to get this conversation going because we actually haven't really had it. So it's oh, really? a, I haven't asked you, Auntie, what is white people's obsession with always wanting to touch black people's natural hair? I really need to know because as a friendly because as friendly of a person as I feel I am, that gives them a right to invade my personal space while I'm grocery shopping to put their disgusting ass hands in my hair. Mm. It's disrespectful. Sign Jarrell A. Owens Robinson gave the whole full go. Period. Yeah, Come on, whole name. Blah. Come on, whole name. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Um, so we'll, yeah. let, we'll, let the, we'll let the guests go first on how to respond to this one. See, they always do it. They always ask, but they never wait for the answer. I don't, like, they do it anyway. It's like they ask as they're reaching, you mm -hmm. know? Like, oh, can I touch it? You're already doing it now. <laughs> uh, Karen. I, <laughs> I don't know what the obsession is. I don't. Jess, I'm gonna let you seem like you have an answer. I'm ready because okay. it's this is the situation. It's disrespect and admiration in one, mm -hmm. you know, and they are enamored by us, which they should be. Our hair defies right. gravity. Uh, there are coils for the gods. Uh, we can change it from one day to the next, hour to hour, minute by minute. Anything they can do, we can do better. So. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Right? Yep. So yep. on the one hand, you have that the understanding. They did what needed to be done. <laughs> <laughs> one hand, it's like, you know, we as Black people in this country have been um, made to feel that we need to appease white people in order to have our safety. So you have people who just allowed for this for a long period of time and so people just feel comfortable saying oh I just want to because my friend let me in you know and there's the admiration piece but the other piece comes with not realizing that we have bodily autonomy that I am a person and I am and I and I don't want to be petted no petting yes. yeah. I don't want to be petted I'm not I'm not something to um fetishize I'm not something that you can just it's not a zoo there's not a petting zoo, you know, keep your hands to yourself. So I think on the one hand, there's admiration, but it's also just a lack of understanding about the fact that we are allowed to say no. We're allowed to not want them to put their hands on us. So it's very, it's very hard because you don't want to, and, and this person saying they're a friendly person and they're, I want all the friendly people in the world to know that no doesn't make you unfriendly. Right. I can right. say no and still be friendly. I can okay. still have my personal boundaries, my personal space. And that's something that I feel like is becoming like a big topic, boundaries. And I feel like that is important for us to stand on and say like, you know, I'm friendly and you can say it friendly. Uh -huh, I'm going to need you to not, you know, oh, maybe that wasn't friendly. I don't know. I'm just shady. Um, whatever way, practice with your friends if you have to, f figuring out ways that you can still be your friendly self. Because I, you know, nobody wants to get outside of their character and I understand that, but I think the more we say no and mean it, and I think the more maybe they will get the the understanding, you know, because they're a slow bunch. So we have to say it slowly and frequently in order yes. to make sure that um, break the pattern. Yeah, right. I think so. I think so. But I don't know. That's that's that what I think. I think there is, <laughs> right. I think a lot of it. I that's the problem too. I do think some some of it. I'll say some of it. I'll say like maybe a third of it is admiration. It's just like, wow, it's beautiful. Because when I see black women's hair, I don't necessarily want to touch, but I am in awe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. if it's big and luxurious or a huge afro that's just like a crown. 
Yeah, I like mean, it's like, that. damn, you, you look so great. Yeah. Um, and I don't, I just don't think they know how to go and just say that and let that be. Um, right. and let that be it. You know, I think there's just we haven't we haven't really set boundaries and stuck with them as a whole. I feel yeah. like. Yeah. I also I wonder, just on a side note, real quick, I just wonder if this is like, if like touching each other's hair is a white thing. Not I'm, and I'm not talking about touching oh. black people's hair. I mean, like, do they go and just touch other people's hair? Like, oh, girl, your your hair is so cute. I want like, mm. I wonder if they do that. Not if, to if, anybody that's. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm just I'm legit. Just like I don't know the answer to this because I'm mm. like now that I'm thinking about, it, I'm like, do they do that to themselves? Because if they do that, I can I could slightly understand not taken away for anything from what you said because i 100 percent mm. ascribe to that i'm yeah. just like i'm wondering if it's it's such an odd thing for them because if they do it f- with each other mm-hmm. and then that's they do it cultural other, but we take it but then we <laughs> but then we well i mean they got to have something because all they got is raisins so they got to have something <laughs> but um sorry white people <laughs> but <laughs> we still love y'all we do we do but you know I, that was i was just wondering if if they do like white people, can you let us know? Let, yeah, send let a note to ask, ask your aunties at, <laughs> at minorityreport.com and let us know if you touch each other's hair. There's differences. Just know. There's a white girl right. that I know who um, her hair is very curly. She's white, like her ancestral, <laughs> you know, she did the ancestry.com. She's like super white. So it's nothing like mixed about her, but mm-hmm. uh, white people touch her hair because it's like, oh, that's different than mine. And like, you know, I, I don't understand the obsession with the touching, you know. I, that's I don't know. what I'm having a hard time understanding too. Yeah. Like, what do you get from touching it? Like, looking at it should be an- enough. Yeah, yeah. Rena, well, I think there's. Oh, go ahead, yeah, Rena. No, I, I mean, I think I'm just kind of having thoughts as you guys are talking. Uh, I think they just have like an obsession and a curiosity with different. And I don't. I guess the touching. Part of me just feels like they. No one slapped them and said no. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, like, no one's like, right, I, right. I, I, They've never been popped. So. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. You that's right. hilarious. You I do might think have it's something there. <laughs> that's true. I do think it's also a uh, an um a desire to see what it feels like because it is so different from theirs and it, our hair does feel different than theirs. There's a coiliness to it. And, and I've often heard people tell other people, oh, it's so soft. Well, what did you think it was going to be? Fuck? It's hair. <laughs> right. What did you think of the Brillo pad? Like, Jesus, yeah, relax. But, but so some people I think say that. That. it could be like that sometimes. But some people it say can, that. Yeah. I got called and carpet he, boy. I mean, if you got that, oh, that F-16C. It, it feels like carpet. Yeah, I had a girl tell me that before. And that's when you punch her in the face. That's when you get popped. You get popped. Lord. They just feel so comfortable. Right. Tiffany know better. Tiffany has learned her lesson. Good. (laughs) Because Tiffany Tiffany would have had some words that day. And now she and look, now she with a black man. Uh, Oh dang. uh, (laughs) Is she gonna know how to do the mixed hair though? There she Let me help you put your two rag on. (laughs) (laughs) Not catering to you. Lord. Oh, oh no. we'll talk about that. Oh no. Um, oh Lord. Oh Lord. That's hilarious. But, but, but it's interesting though, like because like especially like the last few years I've worn my hair longer. And like I mean, mm-hmm. I've had the like the gamut. Like in college, it was just like so weird because like I had cornrows in college. Mm-hmm. And it, everybody was like obsessed with the afro version because like they'll mm-hmm. see it in the cornrows, but when I would take it out. Sometimes just to let your hair breathe, because that yeah. shit sometimes. And they would always be like, oh, Corral, will you wear your fro out? Will you fro? They, like, it was like to a point where, A, I was just like, no, I don't feel like it. And I did it literally like the last week of my senior year where I like just rocked it out the whole time, just to have people finally just shut up about it. Mm-hmm. But again, that just made people want to touch it. And like, mm-hmm. it was long, like I had long hair back then too. Wow. And it was like, like this question is just like I I just couldn't quite understand <laughs> just like why they were so upset with upset obsessed with it but I've never heard anyone say the point of just like the admiration part and so mm-hmm. that's got me thinking here like I've never thought it that way just because it felt so intrusive for so long mm-hmm. about it 
Mm -hmm. But it's just like, okay, I guess maybe it is a slight compliment, but it doesn't, again, give you the permission to put your hands on me. Right. You know, There's a lot of things I admire. And culturally, we know like, okay, if I admire your car, if you have like a really nice car, I don't just go open your car door and sit in the right. car. Like, right. oh my God, this is so nice. Let me just snug up in here. If I admire well, your home. Some people do that. So I've seen that happen with a motorcycle. <laughs> Yikes. Like, yeah. Yikes. They're like, oh, this motorcycle's nice. Next no. thing I knew, they were on top of it taking pictures. <laughs> some up. people just don't have boundaries. See, that's, the, that's, that's the thing. That you never had the home mama training. tell you, don't They're touch nothing. Don't training. look at nothing. Don't, right. don't sit right. down. Don't home do nothing. Training. Like, home I, training. I would go to the store not even daring to look at something and touch Seriously. something. Seriously. <laughs> look down. Look at the cart. <laughs> Put your hand on this cart and hold this cart like, as I walk look, around. I, yeah. Look, I got whooped in the grocery store, okay? Hello? But, um, Hello? You didn't have to do that to me but one time. Right. And now look. I don't keep my hands to myself. Okay. <laughs> I'm good. Look, I'll behave. Okay. I'll behave. You know, one thing about this that irritates me is that the fact that when white people are doing this, they're also forgetting that we go through a struggle of our black hair being acceptable yeah. in certain spaces, mm -hmm. you know, and that there are laws out there that can allow certain people to be fired and like go, yes. or even not even pick for a job or position they may, they may be bomb at, but because mm -hmm. their hair don't fit the mold, mm -hmm. or even in school, like people or have even to cut school. their hair, like, yeah. like you hear right? every like, year, like. like the kid at graduation. Like yeah, the kid at graduation. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's wild. But I'm like, how you gonna tell him at graduation? He went all these years doing the work, and now that he's done, I'm like, y'all trying to make everything difficult. Hmm. And for what? For no reason. For right. no he said reason no. at all. Right. That's you know, you're right. You right. You want to assert your authority, so that think that's the part about it too. It's like that's why they don't even wait for the response because they yeah. just feel entitled to do it because mm -hmm. they. That's how they gotten things they just say mm -hmm. oh that is so pretty that's different i'm gonna just mm -hmm. i'm gonna just touch and they should it. know that we're very anal about our hair and like you know make sure it's staying in place where everyone to so stop fucking up my hair <laughs> but see that's what you said they should know and that's another thing they don't know because we haven't you know uh historically talked about a lot of our right, okay. our things nationally that it's not we know about their hair because we have commercials we have movies about the you know there's a bunch of stuff that we yeah. see that we kind of just know it's only recently now that we've started to have like good hair or bad hair or whatever the or yeah. is a good hair good. we have other stuff that they can kind of get an insight and know like oh i know that took so long for you to do your hair like that now that they're yeah. asking stupid questions like oh my god how'd your hair grow overnight like, bitch, Y'all been uh, wearing weaves and wigs your whole history. <laughs> Why are you surprised that we're doing it? Like, but it's not, it's not something that they know. And I think that's the other thing too, is education for those that if you're close to someone, you know, enough to say it, but that's, yeah, they don't know. They don't know about us. Well, yeah, they, they haven't had to. Know. They, but there's a lot of Google, yeah. a lot of Netflix, a lot of Hulus. Y'all better learn. <laughs> right. Go, there's go, no excuse at this just Listen, go to you a see, hair store. If you look, look around, mm -hmm. shit, touch if, there. If you see any, any video, right, if you see right, any of these videos on Twitter, if you see any of these videos, they gonna learn or they gonna get, they gonna find out real quick. Real quick. Because People are tired. There, there's there's no more. It's above me now. <laughs> that, yeah. that was it. That out. was the last yeah, one. one. That was yeah, the last one. That was the <laughs> last one. And now it's like people getting popped out with four locos in the in literally the, the iced tea you know the wow. iced tea oh. that i really that. usually can't watch like i don't i can't watch a lot of like violent videos but that one that i one watched I a watched. couple times Man, i sure did yeah, I watched that, that, one. Yeah. I watched that. That, that was, was for the ancestors that was for the ancestors that's satisfying. what that was very satisfying <laughs> i had to, and you know like i said i can't watch most of them but that one that one did all right mm -hmm. <laughs> It was cold. The ice cream was literally <laughs> Look, I could watch that all day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You continue to send your questions to AYA at minorityreport.com or DM us. We like these questions. Great conversation. Yeah. Yeah. That's that That's that energy still. Still don't touch nobody's hair. Like, that's just so still rude. Don't. With still your, na with your nasty it. hands. Keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> literally. Or you're going to get some hands <laughs> to yourself. <laughs> Uh, let's see what what's the next one here? Ashley Auntie. Oh, Dewan. <laughs> it's it's 
I mean, I had to do it because this one is, it, it's called Ask Your Auntie's Lion Day. And <laughs> this is a circumstance that regardless of whether you are gay, straight, intersex, in between or whatever, men be lying about they their lying. damn dick size. Right. It's like, why you got to lie? All the damn time. You ain't got to lie to kick it. Well, sometimes, yeah. you, but it's, you ain't got to lie to kick it on your dick size because we're going to see it. We're going to see it nonetheless. Eventually. <laughs> right. <laughs> that part. <laughs> Why you so, got, you ain't got to lie, Craig. Literally. You ain't got to lie. You ain't got to lie. <laughs> Ooh, why you lying? Yeah, right. Ooh, why you lying? Right. <laughs> All right, here's a so lying ass dick. Right. <laughs> okay, okay am I it? reading this or are you reading this, Gerald? You go ahead. You picked it. You about, you about oh, to Lord. read this. Absolutely. This is not. I, so this is from anonymous um and <laughs> why do some guys nervous. advertise and why does it <laughs> oh my god i can't believe it. i'm nervous i'm nervous okay <laughs> why do some guys advertise to the world that they're hung yet their pics to tell a totally different story <laughs> can't tell you how many times a guy has messaged me with quote unquote hung in his name and shows me a five inch cock there's nothing wrong with how big your cock is or little <laughs> But I just don't get it why people have to make such a make, make such an obvious lie. We can roughly tell how big you are judging from your pics, especially when you've upsized yourself by several inches. Do you think we're stupid? Oh, damn. <laughs> they didn't even ask us a question. They just told us right. a statement. <laughs> <With this. laughs> oh, they look like this one. Should it look uh, like this? Where did this bananas come from? Oh, oh, where did this come from? I'm not, not, it was a rat. She got pop. Not on the bedside, Tony. How long do you think you've been in this car? Did you get hungry? Like, right. I don't understand. All right. She, she said, stay ready, man. She, she got two. And she got two, okay. Huh. Um, it was two. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it was this. Or she said, I don't got to get ready. <laughs> or, if it was, or if it was just this. <laughs> oh, no. She showed up to the picnic with the snack. Okay, oh. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> She said, oh, if this conversation God. is not lit, I'm I'm gonna have something oh, to occupy my mind. Oh, that's right. <laughs> if the conversation <laughs> isn't flowing, right. I'm gonna be chomping on like, something. I know that's <laughs> right. I'm gonna be I'm getting my it. protein. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what the so, damn question is. So is the it question why do guys is, why do, advertise yes, the world they're home? Why do, that's it. Okay. When their picks tell a different story. Oh. We'll let we'll let the guest aunties go first. Why <laughs> do they why do they lie? Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but they want to get blocked. I feel like you can't trust people like that in your home. Ooh, and you nice. can't go into their home either because it's, it's, it's probably a mess. People who lie <laughs> have dirty homes. Let that <laughs> I can't. And um, you can't bring them into your house because they steal. Ooh, you right on that. Ooh. I feel you on that. So, That's I don't know. That, Honestly, you can't even get mad. You just got to block. Like, as soon as you get Jordan, that picture, it's just like, I'm adopting you. You. You're, not auntie. You're not an auntie anymore. You're my niece. I'm adopting you. Yes, niece. I can be your niece. Jordan is a res resident white woman, so. <laughs> well, you can't come in here. She said, mm -hmm. because their house is dirty and, they, and because they steal. They do. That's such a crazy thing to lie about. Like, we're not going to find out. You're right. You're right. My, 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 my grandmother would ask one question. Why you lie so? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, right. it's, it's going to be going to find out. Like, why? Like, I, uh, uh, that it just doesn't make sense to me when people can, can do that. And then you show up to a place. And then what are they expecting when you get there that, well, some people now, we're not going to talk about this because it's a whole nother conversation about like, you know, pity sex or pity this or pity that. Yeah. Pity I Pat. Know. I only know Pity mm. Pat. I play, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> pity <laughs> sex. That show up and, it, and it's not, you know, you know what, how it looks. And then you get there in real life. It's you like how it is face. in real life. <laughs> it's my my go-to is to ask them if they want water because then I take my time figuring out how I'm going to kick them out while I'm making the glass of water. And then I come back with the water and I say, you could finish this, but you need to leave. Shut the hell up. I'm here for it. <laughs> That's my niece. Yes, girl. It that is. is my niece right there. <laughs> you know, you got you to gotta figure it out because you don't know if they fight. Yeah, you, <laughs> you, I, 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 don't start breaking stuff in my house. 
I don't know. No. <laughs> the, the list of felonies, the list of felonies and misdemeanors is starting to get longer. I just want to see how yeah, they hands lie. off that glass. They steal. Like, yeah. They break shit in the house. The whole, the whole right. character is in question. The whole character is in question. See, you ain't, you ain't getting no water in my house. I'm gonna look you straight in your eyes and be like, I'm sorry, you have to go. See, thank you, thank you. That is me. That because is also, me. also, like if you're in my house, I know where the knives are here, so I ain't got to worry about it if you fight. Mm-hmm. So we're fine. You were, I think um, you found your niece. <laughs> oh, look, I already Tony, said the way you answer the question. Tony, Tony exactly might be Jordan, 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 look, <laughs> you yeah, and me a snap <laughs> 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 well, because well, I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> like, look, you can leave the same way you got here. <laughs> Bye. And, and I'd be, be like, back. and I'd be quick to be like, and look, I don't want no pictures because fuck an angle, bitch, send me a video because you can't because the, the video ain't gonna video lie like the laugh. angles. Thank you. Show Ooh. don't. Mm-mm. Okay, Tony, is it a match? <laughs> <laughs> is it a match? Is what a match? <laughs> we are, look, we got Jarrell and I already got our nieces. I'm trying to figure oh, out. First of all, wait, first of all, <laughs> look, the mine and I are like close to the same I age. Said. I can't be nobody auntie for real. <laughs> I mean, it's, okay. it's in a, your a, name, boo. It's me in Tony, your name. I, I know. Listen, me and Tony was here together with the crop top. Obviously the the right, right. Get go. I'm and the social butterfly ness. chairs. Around the energy. Like, is that a question? Of course it's a match. She <laughs> <laughs> said, "Do you see?" She said, "Do you see this fireplace?" <laughs> right. <laughs> this a, this is just a weird question to me. I'm giving you dramatic. That's a strange question. It's a it's very, very. I don't understand why anybody add, is this invested this question, in. Though, is but, is this a is this a is is this a race question though? Like, do you see that this happens more in the like? White world, I'm gonna drink my then, the then in the black. Oh, but you I just, hold on. I just want hold to know. On. Hold on, hold on. Inquiry hold on. minds want to know, like, where do you see this coming up? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because you guys, we know I did a little research. We we all discussed this. You guys are in interracial relationships, all three mm-hmm. of you. Is that am I correct in that? That is correct. <laughs> So you that's a question for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> you know that's right. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> All right, that was fun. Bye. Shout <laughs> out to everybody. And right. we found the teaser. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I went from being black to red. You sure did. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> like we we had an episode actually talking about just almost like like the fetishes fetishization of black men. I like. I'm trying to like it's almost two sides of the the, the question now. This specific question, this is weird to me. Like. I never experienced people lying, I guess, maybe that blatantly about their dick size. Cause like you said, like you get the picture, you get the video, you're like, either I want it or I don't like whatever it is. And we're not mm-hmm. trying to shame whatever your dick size is, you know, it, it, we're not going to do all that, but I agree. Like why, why lie? And it probably goes back to like the whole toxic masculinity and this whole perception of what it has to be, especially actually in the gay, gay community. Like there's just like, this whole, the biggest penis on earth is like just what everybody wants. And so you get a quote unquote, whatever normal size dick and you're like, oh, gross, whatever. No, there's some good ass normal size dicks out there too. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like, can we uh, just like, you like, can, you can take a look at this? Like, Say what's, again? The psychology, what's the psychology behind this? Like, would you rather be rejected online or rejected in person? In person <laughs> seems awful. It's now true. I gotta walk back home. I'm sad, <laughs> I'm depressed. And like, what, what happened was, they don't, they, and I feel bad yeah. for them because they're gonna realize they got the wrong one. Because I'm gonna tell you to your face, they think <laughs> that they were like, oh, I'm gonna go to that person's the face, and they're not gonna tell me no because, oh no, let me tell you, I'm gonna tell you, and then some, okay? Ooh, but are you gonna tell you them some homework as I kick your ass out of my house? 
Are you going to tell them because it's not up to whatever size you want? Are you no, doing I'm it gonna because tell them I'm going to tell them because exactly. I'm not exactly. a size queen. First of all, like I said plenty of times, I'm a bottom. So if I make it my mind, if you coming over and this is the expectations, you didn't say you didn't set this bar, right. I'm going to deliver. <laughs> that's Ooh. all I got to say. You on, and on time. Okay, that's and, it. And that's on all time. I'm asking, you know, <laughs> Amazon, like, Amazon Prime. <laughs> Okay, okay <laughs> now. Because because I mean, because I I'll be transparent. Look, I've been with some guys who were well hung and didn't know how to slang what they got. And I'm like, mm, that was a waste of time. You know? right. But then I've been with some who just knew exactly what to do and they'd be like, whoo shit, bitch. I need a water break. I need to tap out real quick. <laughs> you know, like it's a pot of my face real quick again, because a bitch laid the fuck out. Right. You know, but again, it's all about. If this is what you're advertising, right? Sell, give what you're selling. At the end of the day, when I and was, if, when and I was, if someone, oh, no, go I was going to say, if you, I would just encourage those who are in that place of have are feeling like they need to lie to right. get someone. I encourage you to dig deep inside yourself and find a way to love yourself so much Ooh, that you okay. that you love what you have to give, because what you got is what you got at the end mm -hmm. of the day you Facts. know and so if you just gonna lie about it that means you aren't happy about what you got love yourself at the end of the day that's what it truly boils down to me is you may need to figure out how it is to fill your cup so that you don't have to worry about trying to fill someone else's cup because that comes across too like in the way you can't fill like, my cup Ooh, don't, don't fill your cup <laughs> I'm not for that matter. Or am I for that matter? That's saying. <laughs> my cup needs to run it over. Run it over. <laughs> is there another question? <laughs> that's what Yama said. She said, what's in, what's in my cup is for me. What's spilled out is for y'all. Oh, ooh, that, I think I've seen that in a porn flick before. OK. What's, what's spilled out <laughs> that is for y'all? Okay. I don't know what, baby. You might have been watching something else. You know, she got two Twitter accounts, girl. So you know. The burner account. It's the, bur oh, <laughs> the burner account. <laughs> When I do think back we to like those. my single days, when I do think back to like my single days um, and the whole prospect of like, you know, meeting people like, you know, virtually or whatever, if somebody had the words hung in their, in their like bio name, or name. The name, the name, not so much the bio, but like the name specifically, block. Like, because in my mind, there is something fucked up about the way that you're thinking that that is what you're leading with because mm -hmm. that's usually the first thing that you you know you see depending on what you're doing you see a picture and then you see a, a name or whatever and then if you like you know click in you get to see their bio and shit like that if you're interested in that um but <laughs> to me the bio <laughs> right Sometimes the pitch is enough. That part. Sometimes you gotta put your best foot forward. <laughs> See, there you go. So I, like, but I, I just yeah. something, something just intellectually to me, anyways, just says anybody that puts that in their name, for me, says that either you have so much ego about what you have that this sex, if you're looking for sex, like this sex ain't gonna be good because now what it tells me is it's about you not about me. Mm. And then the other part of it is, is like the lie part of it is then you could just be overcompensating. And that's a whole other problem because you setting yourself up and me up for failure because <laughs> this coordination, the coordination <laughs> of getting together and, and all that kind of shit that needs to happen in order mm. to like bring somebody up, that, that takes work and energy. And you're over here time prepping yourself and <laughs> like, like, damn, I don't prep myself in this, this oh. it? I mean, for those, yeah, for those like, I used to that, be a professional right. hoe. That's why you have a plan B, bitch. Okay, look, just in case plan no. A falls through, bitch, you gotta be. It was. It's giving me down, down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh lord! So, like, the the grand scheme is don't lie about what you got because, you, like you said, we're gonna find out. Like, if it's going to come yeah. to fruition, we're going to find out one way or another. It's gonna be disappointment on our end and disappointment on your end. However, if you set those expectations up from the get go, it is what it is. Like, you know, I mean, back in the day, I've seen the plethora of sizes, you know, but uh, and like Jerome, <laughs> you said, like, there's somewhere. You, 
the mighty falls and the 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 the, the small rises. I don't know, but <laughs> you know, it's like, but then there's some mighties that did the damn yeah. thing. Let me know? let me ask this. <laughs> this question is not part of the the you know the the ask Yanti, but I'm so before curious, that one, like, send your ask Yanti what? questions to aya at minorityreport.com or DM us for your future questions aya at minorityreport dot Calm. Okay, there you go, Duan. <laughs> at what at what length and girth do you have to be in order to justify having the word hung in your name? Oh. <laughs> and community, get Come ready. On, this is gonna be the, the question of the week. <laughs> <laughs> and that was a teaser. <laughs> This is the teaser. This is the appetizer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's the meal. This is just a tip. This is just a tip, okay? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to answer this so that, you know, they can take the main course. Um, let's see. What, 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 what would consider... Well, you know... Yeah, what, what length that, and what girth do you have to be to justify having the word hung in your title, in your name? Well, well, let me start by saying that everyone's um, metric, <laughs> sense of metrics are different. I don't know, <laughs> like some people, like I'm just she, like- She's I, a politician, like, just, she's not gonna answer it straightforward. <laughs> That's my niece, that is my niece. <laughs> Go ahead, boo, some, come on now, people, tell them people, what it is. Some people start the ruler, you know, after the ball sack, some people start the ruler <laughs> At the belly button. I don't know why they do it. <laughs> right. I'm done. But they all they all give you they all give you different answers. So what I will say Come with your own room. is that <laughs> I mean I would I would say I would say I would say like eight inches, eight and a half inches would probably be like considered hung if it's like, you know have a little like heaviness to it. Th that's what I was thinking. I was like, it's almost about the heft of it. Like, I think that, I think that heavy is like a little bit more like, I guess, I guess it lends itself well more so to- I want, I want a confession, you know, like, how? <laughs> what my name is? Where we at? <laughs> but yeah, I think like, I think that, I think that like, girth probably like contributes more to like hunger in my mind, in terms of like the definition statement. than length. Okay. Yeah. I'm nice. I'm very Come like, on. I will Google and be like, what's the average penis size? And I'm like, you know what? Because I'm, I'm going to set the bar low because I don't want to be disappointed. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to set But I'm just, but the question is, surprise. what what size, minimally, what size must it be to justify you having the words hung as part of your name? That's Listen, the question. I, I, I almost think sometimes when, when, when I'm like, because hung is like Jordan kind of said, it's like different for depending on who you talk to. Because sometimes in my mind, when people are like hung, I'm like, you had a horse dick that can't nobody deal with. <laughs> right. It's one of those that don't even get fully erect. It's just like, uh, and then you're doing a silhouette challenge and it's like giving a whole. <laughs> and I just, a kickstand. You, you leaning on it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to just rest here. What can you do with, with, with like someone who's truly hung? But like what Jordan described is like, okay, like you might you might can work with that. Like that, that can be figured out. <laughs> but I yeah, I, I don't I don't know the the one. I don't that's a that's a tough one. It's, it's I think it goes I, both ways. Because I think it also okay. may depend on the bottom too, you know, like how mm. experienced is the bottom because not everyone can take a lot. Some people like you put a, a pinky in there, like, oh shit, bitch, I'm dead. You know, <laughs> <laughs> people will be like, oh, you know. So I give him, a, I give him a good RuPaul. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the kind of girl. Don't. All right, Demone. Yeah. Come on. We now. all believed in you. <laughs> Come on, Demone. What you say now? Um, I don't know. I feel like eight is where you can probably talk about it in your headline if you want to be that gaudy about yourself. Um, yeah, that's straight, that's it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree. Bro? No, I agree. And like, for me, like team verse life here, I think it's the same way with cakes too. Like if you put like the peach and everything and cake emojis and shit like that, like your ass better be fat in. It'd be like a oh. white twink. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> with some <laughs> Andrew Christian <laughs> underwear bits that did the lift and throw on. So it make it look like that guy can't So it's just like, I, like yeah, for me, like, I see it both ways. It's just like, if you're going to advertise that, like you said, you're setting up these expectations. And if it doesn't get met, disappointment for everyone. Just in the you. picture. Just that, in the picture. Exactly. Like, let me, let me like, make I'll, up my mind. I go back to like, kind of like, direct, like I like, like, FaceTime me real quick, like make it if it's because I'm I'm scared of the catfish moment, and, mm. and and if I do get a catfish moment, I'm I am like Jarrell, where it's given. Do I gotta go. <laughs> I'm leaving immediately. I'm not have, having this pity sex. You ain't getting no water in my house. Not in my filter water. <laughs> oh, you I know, just, not, not, tap, not my filter water, water that's getting there cooling. Water, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know the the game changer is having an intercom with a video system on it because then you don't even have to buzz them yeah, up. Yeah, that's and true. then it's just a, it's just a swift the block. Mug. Yeah, it's yeah. just like you know, oh, wrong address. You know, just, just just go home. Just go home. Yeah, See, right. that's part of the yeah. like. That's Think why I'm glad I'm married because like that's the part of the world like I just don't miss <laughs> all just this all that shit like it's all of it is just insecurities. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, I'm just so mm-hmm. passionate having to deal with other folks' insecurities because I'm still trying to deal with my damn self. Like, mm-hmm. I ain't got time for all this right. bullshit. So I just like, wonder. The real tea is I just bust one up by myself and all of a sudden, I don't that want part. no motherfucking body, bitch. That part. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need you. I don't yeah. need you. I don't need you. Clear my mind. Right. Clear uh, my mind. <laughs> I'm like, why was I even texting you? This is so weird. I'm just I just. I do wonder... I do wonder if like these handshaking myself. Thank you, girl. Thank you. <laughs> well, you gotta clean it first. But... <laughs> that's oh, messy. <laughs> Hello. Okay, nice now. to meet you. Yeah. See, we take it too far. Sorry, surface level. We take it too far. <laughs> Listen, no, no, no. But I do... surface level, we go, we go beneath the surface. <laughs> Oh. Like some conversations level. have gone deep. We go I'm on t- t- Tony goes I deep. Do, I do wonder beneath, though. We go beneath and beyond. <laughs> I do wonder like how many like really, really like below average individuals these people must be having sex with to feel like, you know, they're hung. Because relativity, like if you're having sex with people who have, you know, like I don't even think it's that. I think it's the insecurity. You know what? But I'm just wondering, like, you know, if if you're five, maybe six, hard, and then you, but the people that you've been messing with are like below that, then it could be like, oh yeah, damn, you, you know, you really got some stuff to work with. Insecurity within the gay culture, quite honestly. If they watch porn, they know what the they know what the T is. Seriously. That part. Yeah. I call it all them categories. Yeah. All them categories. <laughs> Bitch, you find 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 your. Especially nowadays, everybody got your cameras. It's like a is, lot of amateur doing, shit out there. So, you know, you're on, you're just get on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. See, like everyone was like, bro, you got a burner Twitter account? Yes, bitch. Twitter's yeah, lit as fuck. Yes. I love yeah, Twitter. Yeah. It's my favorite app. I would pay for Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Two, two years ago, nobody was on Twitter. Now everybody's like Tumblr oh, went down and Tumblr went down and Tumblr died. died. Yeah, because I deleted my real Twitter because I was like, I know I said something crazy when I was like nineteen that I, I don't know need right. to find. <laughs> You're right on that. Actually, I, don't, yeah. I never really used Twitter that much. All of it ended up being for porn. So I was like, you know what? <laughs> they can see <laughs> what I'm liking. Uh uh-uh, uh uh uh. Let me let me get yeah. this burner real quick. Let me get this burner. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. anyway. Oh man, I, uh, surface uh, level is dope. We need to do another. We hey, surface level. We need to go on y'all show. Come on now, and then uh, yes. y'all need to come back. We enjoy surface level so much. We enjoy them so much. That's yeah, just a cool another guys. Yeah. crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jordan said, "Hey, your house, <laughs> hey, your house, dirty." <laughs> so you know you be lying or whatever he said. <laughs> like you right, you right. <laughs> uh, Jarrell, what do you got, boo? Uh, girl, <laughs> mine was begging for a blowjob. That ask your auntie took me all the way out. <laughs> like, the fact being that like, he was like, he was already in a relationship with this person. And he said he barely even looks at it. <laughs> I was uh, like, uh-uh. not barely even look at your dick, barely. girl. Like, you know, I had to ask him. He, I like, he is t- too much work. I said, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Right? Mm-mm. Oh, my mm-mm. God. Yeah, I no, just, that was a good one. 
That was I good. just couldn't. I just couldn't. And that was when Dewan was li- living his best Grecian life. His he was in his <laughs> right? Greek fantasy that way. So thank you, Landon, for hopping on that one. Yeah. And we was living vicariously doing the Opa with the Opa. Juan that way. <laughs> Oh, um, all right, here we go. What time is it? Ask, Ask your, your aunties. Aunties. <laughs> And this is a long one, so bear with us. But it's good. It's good. So it says, <clears throat> "Been with my boyfriend for a year now." When we first met, he didn't touch my dick or even acknowledge its presence. I got vocal about it and asked him to acknowledge it and suck it from time to time. (laughs) I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to get through this without laughing. It seems like I always need to ask him to go for it or else he doesn't. And when he does, after asking me, it feels forced and unnatural. He says that he's not into sucking and I can understand, but said he would make efforts. Still, I have to always ask for a blowjob or else I won't get anything. Mm -mm. Uh, Recently, after a talk about past experiences, I tried to see if he was just simply not attracted to my dick. He said that for him to suck a a cock, here we go, in in the past, it was on random hookups where he felt like that's what was expected of him. So he just did it. But he also sometimes felt like he willingly wanted to suck a, another guy's dick if it was appealing aesthetically for him and if they were bigger and more muscular. Oh. In other words, I'm not his type when it comes to dick sucking. I'm just not sure how to react and how exactly should I take these comments after battling for month after battling for months with myself trying to understand why he never goes for my dick when in past experiences never had any issues. You better tell him to suck that dick, bitch. <laughs> but I suck that dick with that mouth, do. <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. All I want to know is what that mouth do. Right, period. <laughs> this is weird. Like, this is a weird one. Like, because you, you start off and say you've been in this relationship for a year. So, like, That's a lot of missed opportunities. A lot of missed opportunities, but like even like before, like you became boyfriends officially. Like, was he not sucking it, or were you like maybe just sucking his and like and, and fucking his? I don't know. Like, it just seems like this is weird that you've been in the relationship for a year and now it's just really kind of coming to a head. No pun intended. <laughs> okay, correct me if I'm wrong. Correct hand. me if I'm wrong. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh-huh. in a relationship, because you know I'm Owen two in that department. Um, <laughs> That's two. Well, marriage in the marriage department. Okay, <laughs> I've been married twice. <laughs> Owen two. When it comes seriously in relationships, I would think before you decide to get serious that you would be sexually compatible, and that includes certain actions right. and certain things that get one off or both of you off by a particular action so was did you just settle for this dude because of xyz over here and it's like okay he's not gonna suck my dick but you know what i'll 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 suck his (laughs) you know i'm still you know so i guess the question the, the bigger question is why get into a relationship if that is something that's so important to yeah. you and it's not happening. Because he has yeah. a nice personality. Personality. <laughs> what? Personality. Uh. Did I really just give that facial expression? Um, <laughs> yeah. I. Because, I, I, mean, I, uh, I mean, I, I get. I get so. Her throat. You see right. her throat. I get. <laughs> I get. Yeah. So lonely. <laughs> get my little. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Right, she's like, <laughs> um, I, I get that maybe like in sometimes in relationships that like they might not do everything that you enjoy, and maybe at first and like it, it either comes along or you know it compromises in that regard. But this seems like this is a big compromise because I feel like just like in any sexual encounter, whether it's like female, male, 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 like female, female, non-binary, non-binary, there's gonna be some private sucking. <laughs> That's part of the whole shebang to me, at least. Somebody's mouth is getting you. That part. 
so it's just like it, it's just weird that now a year in that it's bothering you this to me would have bothered me way earlier on and maybe and maybe that's don't. and maybe like you said maybe there was just other sexual fulfillment that they were having that now he's just like okay i really want my dick sucked and you haven't really been doing that like i really want that right but I mean, like, I could understand if you simply just don't like giving oral. Mm-hmm. Like, there are just some people who just don't, you know, um, and that's okay. Mm-hmm. But kind of like what Landon was saying, though, like, th- that's the conversation you should be having before you get serious. And, Curl, like you mentioned, after a year, you just thinking that's... about this now. Yeah. No wonder why your dick sounds so lonely and so dry in this, in this question. Because you didn't wait so damn long. Oh, damn. You, sorry. Sorry, community not, member. Not whoever said jo- this. <laughs> Let me tell you. Not the you failed your penis. Dick, Let me tell you. You failed your penis, not him. Oh. You were supposed to do your research. That, 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 might, have been, that might be a real ass statement, though. That is, that I'm might. just saying. Okay. I mean, because cause it's one thing to want, it's, it's okay to want what you want. But it's another thing to assume someone's going to do for you what yes, you need. Yes, yes. And especially so after that long. Be vocal. Be vocal. Right. You got to say what you need. Absolutely. But I will say this, though. His partner fucked up about the aesthetically pleasing and bigger yes. and more muscular. Yeah, that's a like, rude-ass statement. That's rude. A but I will say statement. this, though. I mean, the backdrop or the focal point when you... Fo- when you suck in a dick matters, though. I'm just saying. It's always nice to, there's some ugly to like to look. There. I mean, <laughs> this but I mean, <laughs> like, even when it's in your mouth, though, you got to look at something unless you're going to close your eyeball or some shit like that. Like, uh, uh. So. Wait, wait, I mean, like wait. what? Like what? <laughs> <laughs> wait, so do you suck dick with your eyes open? Bitch, hell yeah, dude. I be like, you better look at these motherfucking eyes, Ooh. bitch. I'm sucking the soul out your dick and your <laughs> eyes at the same time. <laughs> Let me tell you. I'm so I'm so far in the lap. I can't even look up. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> I am done with both of y'all. <laughs> I mean, if you're in the lap, how are you gonna look up? Girl, let me tell like, you. The occasional you, look up. Because that's when you like, I mean, first of all, they gotta be laying down for that to happen. So you can come downwards and then look up. You know, if you if they stay. You got this all planned. There is a there's a how-to in your book, isn't there? <laughs> Oh, you haven't wow. read the bo- you haven't read the Buddha kiss yet. Let me tell you, <laughs> you see this? Okay, look. Let me tell you. These broad ass shoulders. Okay, let me tell you. She be ready. That thick ass neck. Come on Good. now, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I am so done. I am so done. You know I what? Mean... Getting back to getting back to what Jarrell said. You know, I, I want to reread something. Mm-hmm. And, and and them having this conversation, but some quote. But he sometimes felt like he willingly, keyword, wanting to suck other guys' dicks if it was a please a, appealing aesthetically for him and if they were bigger and more muscular. In other words, I'm not his type yep. when it comes to dick sucking. Well, it sounds you are like not, might not his, be his type. type, period. Period. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And, that, but, and that's mm-hmm. that's a tough pill to swallow too for someone that you love and care for. They swallow? hear that I that you're not their type, especially after a year. And you probably knew this before now. You know, everyone's been in those moments where you're like, I knew from the get go, but damn, I, I, I it is what it is. I stay. Mm-hmm. He knew from the get go. And and that's a tough pill to swallow to be like, damn, I am not aesthetically pleasing enough to enough for the person that i i consider my boyfriend the person i consider that i at least like (laughs) you know maybe it's love whatever it is so that's that's rude as hell for your your boyfriend to say that shit hey he's holding on to this single thing too like this single mindset though too wanting to still do things with specific things only with other people you know that are bigger and more muscular right Absolutely. Like there's, I feel like there's something there that needs to be unpacked, you know, cause some people have this whole thing where they like to do things with random people because they like the whole, um, anonymous about it, you know, mm-hmm. where like the whole, I won't have to see this person again type thing. And that's exactly. one thing. That's one <laughs> thing. But when you can't do that and this, you know, the, the same stuff with your partner, that's completely two different yeah. things. 
And here's the thing. Like, I always say there's other dick out there. And there's other mouths out there that are going to want to suck your particular dick. Like, <laughs> you I know? was about to ask you to raise your hand, girl. I was just about to let <laughs> At 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. Roll call. Roll call. <laughs> roll call. <laughs> listen, listen. Marriage material to me is like, I'll suck your dick in the street. Like that's, <laughs> that's marriage material. So, so the first, about, the first, the I'm, first two wouldn't do that. She said, "Time, yeah, how you doing?" <laughs> I mean, but, but like in, in a relationship, there's got to be certain things that get both of you off or one. Like, I'll give you an example. If we don't really go that route, I'm not into rimming or any of that. I'm, I'm just not. However, if okay. my partner, if my partner, if that was something that was important to him a year in. Yeah. You know what? I guess I'm just gonna have me a little sniggity snack and just do it. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to get to the munchin because if that is what if that is what gets him off, if that is what does it for him, yeah, love is is, is about sacrifice, and sometimes you just gotta get into the hole. And that's not a it. bad that's not a nah, bad babe, sacrifice I'm gonna be either. Like this. It's not. <laughs> like, this oh, is oh, you gonna, gonna be, be me in the back it? like this. <laughs> I'm so done. <laughs> Like, don't play no. with it. Don't play with it. <laughs> just you do what you gotta do. Do yeah. what you gotta do for your partner. And I'm yeah. not saying that everybody is the same, but at some point, love in a relationship a year in, yeah. there's gotta be some sacrifice, some give and take. Compromise. And if that I mean, is some compromise, right. and if especially if, if they're you're coming not to doing you. it, there's a problem. Because yeah. right, he's actually right. doing the right thing. He's communicating. He's communicating. I want this. Maybe a little late. But at least he's worked on it, and now he's at that step of saying, I am communicating this to you. This is what I need. This is what I want, and you ain't fulfilling it. What's up, boo? And for he you to come to back crying. with that, like, and to come back with that rude-ass statement, that's rude as hell. I'd be like, you know what? Mm -hmm. I, I done lost a year. That's it. I ain't losing no more. Yeah. Well, I said keep it moving. I said <laughs> with the divorce court and call it a day. Honey. Boom. Cause there's just, call there's it, just too it. much other good dick and ass and mouths and everything, there's titties and vaginas and everything, elbows, head, toes, knees and toes. Like I mean, Funny, there's there. a lot of good mouths out there, so you better find you one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Find so. you one. Your turn. Your turn. You your turn. Just keep going. You get a turn. You get a turn. You get a turn. Hey, you get a turn. Hey, your turn. Your turn. <laughs> just see what you so, gotta yeah. do. So, like, Don't waste yeah. your own time. Don't waste your time. Yeah. Your do time not is waste your time. Mm -hmm. Waste kids, not time. <laughs> Don't well, waste kids. Well, I mean, though. he ain't wasting those kids because he ain't sucking no dick, so he's wasting them. Don't waste mm -hmm. no kids, though. Mm -mm. You're right. You're right. Damn. Oh, uh, anyway, turn that mouth into a daycare. <laughs> I'm so done with y'all in this episode, y'all. <laughs> I, I to take responsibility for that one. I, I, I knew from jump this episode was gonna be off kilter. And so <laughs> is, but community continue to send your Ask Your Aunties questions to AYA at MinorityReport.com or DM us. Again, we need some new ones. The mm -hmm. summer's almost over. Tell us about your hot, hot girl, hot boy, hot non-binary summer. Tell us. Let us know. What happened? What little tea do you need to spill? It's back to school season. What you going through? It doesn't always have to be sexual either. I know sometimes probably people feel that urge to tell us because we'd be just an open book. But it could be anything that you might need opinion or, or advice open legs. on. Or open legs. Why? Open mouths. Open mouth. All Gaping of holes. Damn. I'm going to send one and y'all can read it when Dewan gets back. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So the moral story is he'll suck somebody else's dick, but not show his girl. Move on. Yeah. You gotta get a blow job. <laughs> right. I mean, okay. blowjob is like the bare minimum. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you ain't even doing the bare minimum. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But yeah. you know, some people also aren't good at it. You know. So if you ain't good at it, I understand. You know, not. But you can get to... better at it. Like you can put some work in to can get you? better at least. Can you? I mean, at least at least try. <laughs> <laughs> But again, if, if at first like, you don't succeed, right? <laughs> try, try, just just yeah. no. <laughs> try again. <laughs> you can just uh, try again. I know that's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, you can try, but uh, 
But community, again, again, if you have new Ask Your Aunties, end of the year shit, after Christmas shit, you know, send them to AYA at MinorityReport.com or DM us. We got it. We need some new ones for 2022. So send those yes. our way. Yes. We appreciate you taking the time and being vulnerable, quite frankly, because sometimes some people send their names, some don't, and I get it. It is what it is. But being vulnerable enough to send these questions in, and sometimes we be going in, in. <laughs> <laughs> We appreciate that, and, and we enjoy Look, having you part of the, the show. It is Ask Your Auntie, so and you if you ask us, we're going we gonna to tell you. We're going to give you <laughs> an auntie-ass answer. Now, we ain't telling <laughs> you what you what to do. Ain't nobody telling you what to do. You're we just grown giving ass you some advice, Offering. you know. There you do, go. What you, Offering. do with it what you please. That part, that mm -hmm. part. But I would Nikki also just, go ahead. just real quick, I would just encourage, uh, just to say that, you know, I know we do a lot of, like, relationship stuff, but, like, you know, a lot of people are changing jobs. A lot of people mm -hmm. are working through their mental health. A lot of people have, you know, just other other questions. Or yeah. if you have a question for us, you know, ask your aunties, yeah. you know? So, yeah. you know, let us know, hit us up. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and we still have a, a few good ones in the queue that will be coming up here. But um, but yeah, continue to, to send those in. And, um, but before we get out of here too, like literally we have to say, we, we have to say thank you for every guest that came yes. on that took the time to rock it with us this year. We appreciate you all so much. You've been a part of our journey and we we don't take that lightly and we appreciate you doing that. So I I, I wanna literally say their names, say their names. Uh, Monique Hart, AKA your mama call you Kevin. <laughs> uh, Rodney, uh, let's see here, let's see here. Surface level, Tony Jordan, Damon, uh, Nick from Queer Spirit. Hey, boo. Hey. Uh, let's see. The Queer Doc. Our favorite doc hey. is the Queer Doc. Yes. <laughs> Quentin. Hey, boo. Hey, Quentin. Hey, from oh, hey, Q. Hey, Q. <laughs> right. From Q Care Plus. Uh, if you haven't been on prep or you're curious about prep, check that episode out. That was episode 115. Um, Jasmine Masters. Hey, guys. Hey. What's up, boo? <laughs> What's up, Jasmine? Oh, hey, podcast, Ryan and Todd. Thank you. Yes. Seth, Eric, we got to get you back on yes, ASAP. Girl. Yes, we do. <laughs> because you got more crazy ass stories and we need them. Raven from the Healing Space. Oh, um, yes. Right? Uh, Chris and Shanna from Bad Queers. Hey, uh, that's our girl. Hey, you know, <laughs> our dude, so. Frank. Right, exactly. Hey, Frank from Leslie oh, Frank. Yes. Hey, yes. Um, Aaron Myers. What's up, boo? Yes. You know, with all that jazz music. Uh, it's a mess, sis. Rena and Jess, thank you, booze. Yes, yes, uh, girl. They got sisters too. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, I'm trying to go. Oh, for the queer, Josh and Kyle, thank you, loves. Oh, thank you. Yes. Melanated social work. Come on, thank dudes. Those are dudes. So Come much, on. So Ooh, they, and they all fine as hell too. What up, Marvin? What's up, Jesse? What's up, Michael? What's up, Josh? <laughs> <laughs> Relationship podcast, Marco and Tony, the yes. Catellis. That's our booze. Yes. Hey. Uh, George from VRU Radio. What's up, boo? Uh, Monique, we had you on twi twice. We had three episodes yes. of Monique Hart this year, y'all. Yeah. Like, that's wild. Monique, yeah. hold on. Again, Monique for shouting us out during Pride Month for literally Good Morning America's initial Pride list. Minority you, Report sis. was on that shit. Like, that's Thank still... Thank you so much, sis. Ugh. My mind is still blown and it's so like, uh, it, it, it makes me. And I can't believe we didn't say that was the highlight of the year. All right, we also we yeah. also didn't say that was oh, the yeah, highlight of the year. That's true. That that's is a there. huge there. highlight. That's a huge that. highlight. <laughs> that is a huge highlight because Thanks, it was just out. so unexpected. Like we yeah. had no clue at all. And actually, another guest that we're about to say the name, Michael Munoz. We've had him. Yes. Uh, he was like, I think he was our first guest. Our first ever. guest. He was our first guest. Yeah. And so we just had guest. him on again. But he's the one that told me. He's the yeah. one. He's like, Hey, congrats, girl. I'm like, What's what? What, what we do? <laughs> <laughs> and he's the one that saw it first and so sent it. So thank you, Michael, for letting us know. But Monique, thank you for uh, you. We you know how much we adore we you. Love her. Like 100%. We, we all the flowers, continue. all the love. all the flowers. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, who else? Oh, so Monique, thank you. Uh, Z A Boo, yes, thank Z you, Z. Yes. Z boo. Ah, and gay if, fifty states. And if you haven't gotten the book, I know the holidays are gone. Hey, start the new year knowing some gay shit. So oh. our gay history in fifty states. Check it out at gay50states.com. Buy it there. Yes. Ten percent mm -hmm. of your proceeds goes to gay charities when you buy it there. 
So please do that. And, you know, we got to thank our husbands. You know, we just yes, had that episode, yes. but thank you, booze. You know, thank y'all and so it, I guess much. it has been too long to have you on. We should do it more often. We know, we know. But, uh, <laughs> you know, they, they're not clamoring. They are not clamoring to come on here. Oh, Cor- 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 do you not know my husband? <laughs> Oh, Corey! I think Corey is the only one. Corey is the only one because Fizz be like, "Keep me." (laughs) Corey said, "You said you said that before we coming on. We didn't come on." I was like, uh, "Girl, like you'll be fine." Damn, like why? Why? Okay, you press, press, press. But uh, thank you, booze. We love our husbands. Um, And we can't wait for the episodes we have uh, trying to line up now as we speak for next year. And if anyone wants to come on, you know, and want to have us on, we hop on there too. Come on, you know, let's do a little collateral, uh, you know, a little exchange of a uh, 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 talents, yeah. if you will. But uh, <laughs> but no, we're gonna get some flowers it. to y'all. I'm just gonna give my flowers to y'all and just say thank y'all for the amazing year and just Same to you, you know, boy. helping yeah. me keep my head on my shoulders and just always being the big brothers that I always want in my life. So, mm-hmm. you know, no, I love you. you. Y'all know I adore y'all. So <laughs> right, exactly. I'm gonna tell you again, but I adore y'all. I absolutely yeah. do. You you yeah, find we, we little melanated brothers. It. Yeah. We, hey. we boohoo over each other every week. We so do. <laughs> <laughs> and all the moments that y'all don't see, like we literally be having like episodes and, and we, we keep saying we're gonna launch Patreon. We just gotta do it. We just ran out of time this year. But uh we just have moments that we have stored up over time that eventually will get yeah. out there just because we just be talking. <laughs> We like we real talk do. like like real talk more than the Ooh. talk that we have for like the episode like literally real real talk so so everyone that has contributed everyone that watched everyone that has shared shit on social everyone that just like liked anything any just checked in subscribe continue to subscribe though uh oh we just we didn't say amber in that list we didn't oh, say shit, amber in that list amber. thank you amber Thank you, oh, Amber. No. no, Amber was not on there. We didn't say Amber. I yeah. showed it. Okay. it, was, it I know what happened. Yep, because I because I, exactly. it was right after Z. I see it right here, big as bold. I just can't see clearly. <laughs> Amber, thank you, boo, because you Thanks, dope, baby. and I want Amber back. Everyone keeps saying we needed more six, like six more hours For of Amber. Real, like I literally had friends over there, like, oh my god, that was so great. I love yeah. the episode. I was dying laughing. Yeah, we should do a we should do a husband's episode with Amber and her boo. Ooh, that'd we be should do that. That, that would be, be dope. <laughs> that would be I like dope. that idea. I like that idea. That'd be uh, real good. You know, we got we yes. just gotta manifest. You gotta put this exactly, out there the exactly. And so <laughs> yeah. we we're gonna keep on climbing. Thank you. Continue yes. to download. Continue to share. Please, 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 please. To continue us growing and uh on to bigger and better things this year in 2022. Mm-hmm. Boo. Yes. Um, anything y'all. else? Anything else for the end of the year? Happy New Year! Hey, 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 hey. Cheers to you, ladies! Clank, clank, clank! Love you, booze, so much. And uh, until next week in next the new year. year, right? Until next year, right? Right. Wash your we'll hands. See you on the flip side. Your legs, your ass. Go get the merch. Bam, 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 bam. MinorityReport.com. <laughs> hey, and we'll see you later. Bye. Bye, y'all. <laughs>